Thanks for stopping by to see what I'm up to today. In my last video, this is part two of the series on how to get your radio into your truck, how to get the wires from to to there. At any rate, I kept saying grommet, grommet, grommet. And I don't know if that's not the right word, but I do know this. Maybe some people don't understand what I'm saying. In your engine compartment, there are going to be penetrable, penetrable, penetra, I don't know how to say that, membranes that you can get through. And in the truck, there's hoses that go through some. There are the steering assembly goes through one. I often use that one. But in the truck, there are gonna be membranes for you to use. And this is the best example of one that I can find. Here's one. I don't recommend putting your radio wires through this one, but here's one right here. They look like that. They're bigger, they're smaller, they're there. But they're in the engine compartment or underneath. I use the one that's underneath. So we're gonna use this as an example of a membrane that you can penetrate, get through. So imagine this is the bulkhead. This is the uh, pass-through. This is the metal area that you have to get through on the truck. So here's the membrane that you can penetrate easily in and on the truck bulkhead. You're gonna need a tool to help you penetrate that membrane. I use a brass rod readily found at Home Depot, Lowe's, I go to Lowe's, and you can find them in the sections where they have materials like this. This is the one that I use at Huntsville Hamfest to break into my truck. Boy, was it handy. But you can use a bent, unbent coat hanger, a ham stick stinger, whatever does the trick, but you're gonna need a tool to get through that membrane. I used up all my ham brains trying to figure out a way to illustrate this because it's just hard inside the truck. So here's the membrane, the grommet, whatever use is used to keep water from coming into the truck through the pass-through. This yellow thing represents the bulkhead or the metal parts of the truck. You're gonna take your tool and attempt to penetrate this membrane in a place that won't cause a short, won't affect something on the truck or the car, but will get you in from this side to that side. Once you're through the place that you're gonna penetrate, it's time to wrap the wires and pull them through. So here's the device that you came through the spot in the truck or the car, and now it's time to wrap the wires. A lot of people will take and just put a little bit of wire on there, and when you pull this through, they may separate. So I recommend a good amount of wire compared to, and some people will recommend more, it's gonna end up being personal taste. How much, how much wire do you wrap up? What I would definitely not do is make a big tape section. So you make your section, you make your taped portion very secure. And to me, that means wrapping it around really tight. Tight is better than thick. Now, when you get to the top portion that is gonna come through where you penetrate it, make it as streamlined as possible, as thin as possible almost like an arrow. Now I'm confident that this will pass through the average membrane. It's very arrow-like and streamlined up here where it's gonna be coming through for the first time. Once you get one portion through, the rest will force open the rubber area so that you can get all of the wire in. And it's, it's a good amount maybe about two inches or so, and it's tight against the device I'm using. So again, streamlined, tight, and then you pull it through one way or the other. All right, y'all, that's enough for today. Remember, safety first. Do not have any of these wires attached to any circuit. Don't have any fuses in the circuit breakers. Don't attach anything to the battery while you're pulling these wires. Don't pull live wires. You get a fireworks show, some sparks, some heat, you never know. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget about that uh, antenna giveaway I'm doing and I even did a um, live stream today so I can be ready to live stream and do the antenna giveaway. Thanks for stopping by. We will see you next time.